Hi, Ben Knott, how you doing? I'm a director of photography, which is just a fancy pants way of saying cameraman. Okay, so some of the tools of the trade that we use as directors of photography are filters. So this is a box of filters I bought 20 years ago. And I use this box and everything in it to attenuate the image, that is to regulate the exposures and colors. And because my philosophy is to try and impart as much to the digital negative as it is these days as possible. So that if by chance I'm not available during the time of final color grading, there's as much of my photographic intention on the digital neg as possible. And I think that's really important. So these come in various different sizes. This is what's known as a 6.6 .6 size that slips into the matte box, which is the big square thing on the front. And this is a 138mm round filter that does the same. It sits into a, a nice little ring. Um, Essentially, they could be the same piece of glass, but they're just in a different shape. Why do we have different sizes of filters? Because sometimes we might be doing in a more production sense when the camera's fully built and sitting on a dolly, then we'll have the big matte box on and, and that'll be appropriate. But if we want to hand hold the camera, we need, it, we need it much lighter. And so therefore we might use a tiny little filter that just covers the front element of the of the lens uh, and makes it much lighter and much more ergonomic to deal with. Um, there's many, 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 many different types of filters, but essentially um, there's filters that attenuate the exposure. These are called ND filters and they're just like a solid block filter that suddenly make it darker. Um, I appreciate that works and hopefully there's not a horrible reflection there but um and why would we want to make it darker They're so that we can open up the aperture and reduce the depth of field and and control the audience's control where the audience um uh, concentrates on our image um there's graduated filters that are the same they're an nd portion on the top neutral density, and then they have a clear glass section at the bottom. And these are used to attenuate the sky. So for instance, if it's a big vista shot and, and the sky is very bright, then we'd use these and slip them in so that, that I hope this works, that we could just attenuate the sky part. So um, there's those and they come in different strengths. And this is quite a strong one, obviously. In, these were custom made for me so that they're not perfectly straight. There's a little bend in them so that they're a little bit more organic. Um, as an extension to those, you know, I had this little strip filter made and I'm not sure if you can see it. I hope you can, but um, that just slides in and, and creates this little kind of strip ND if you want to knock down just the horizon line on, on a Vista hillside with a sky and you just want to knock down just the horizon, make that just a touch darker, then you can do that. Um, I've got some blue graduated filters that um, accentuate the blue of the sky. And I've got the same sort of thing in coral, which is a warmth, a warming filter. I'm trying to lean these four a little bit so we don't get any nasty reflections, I hope not. But, um, you know, that gives you this corally type cast that you can then use um, to create that effect in the sky. And there's, you know, it goes on and on and on. There's many, many, many different types, but these are a very important part of the DP toolkit, the filters. <laughs>